here of Norwalk, Mayor Harry Rilling. Mayor, we appreciate your time this morning. I know you have a lot on your plate, so I want to get right to it. Uh, Norwalk hit especially hard with this coronavirus. I know 1,300 or so confirmed cases, more than 50 deaths. Kind of give us a snapshot on how you're doing. Well, thank you, Keith, for having me on. Uh, you know, it is very sad and challenging. Uh, this is a very difficult time. We're in uncharted waters, and um, we're moving along. We're doing the things that we need to do to get the message out to the public, the importance of physical distancing, uh, the importance of staying home, staying safe, staying healthy. Uh, and, you know, it, it's a challenge. We, we've never dealt with anything like this before, and uh, we learn something new every single day about this virus. And, uh, you know, what we learned yesterday might not hold true today. So uh, we have to adapt. We are constantly reminding ourselves and people at home that these cases, these numbers are real people. They are our friends and our neighbors. They are families involved here. What are you hearing from your constituents? What are they telling you? Well, you know, I'm glad you pointed that out because they are more than just a number. These are people that live and work in, in our community, contribute to our society. Uh, they leave behind loved ones. Um, we're, we're all saddened by that. Our constituents are saddened as well. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody understands just how severe this situation is. And I, you know, I see things that trouble me sometimes when people take it lightly and don't believe that it's uh, uh, that it, this is serious. We know you were part of the governor's press conference last week. How do you think the governor is handling the situation in Connecticut, and where at all do you see room for improvement here? Well, you know, I think he's handling it very well. He comes out with his executive orders after consulting with his staff, after consulting with mayors around the state, uh, with the uh, state legislature. Uh, we're all in this together, and I think the governor is doing really, really well. I was really happy to see that he's uh, partnering, uh, if you will, with the six other governors from around this area uh, to work together because this, this virus has no boundaries, no borders. Uh, and we want to make sure that we're all working together and doing the kinds of things. And, and that's how we handle something like this. We learn from each other. You know, uh, we have to be willing to say, you know, I can't do everything, but I can do something and I can learn from others as well. So I, I'm very happy that the governor is partnering with the six other governors from this area. And I think that's going to help us uh, tremendously. Let's talk business for a minute if we can. This morning on the show, we heard from hairstylists and barbershop owners who are really concerned. They are just some of the businesses impacted by this. What do you think that picture looks like? We see so many people struggling right now, hoping to get back to work. What is your message to people in your community? You know, the, the message is this. Um, we've come so far. Uh, we've sacrificed so much right now. I don't want to take our foot off the gas pedal. We want to keep moving forward to make sure that when it's time to go back, it's going to be the right time. Uh, I know it's frustrating. There's nobody frustrated any more than any of the mayors or the governor or anybody else. We want to get our economy back up and running, but we can't risk going back too soon and, and, and having all that we've sacrificed be to no avail. We want to make sure that when we decide to reopen various uh, uh, trades or various stores or shops, that it's the right time. Uh, and, I, and I get it. You know, I'm so frustrated myself. I feel for the people that are unemployed or um, having bills pile up. But we have to do what we have to do.